Hey there, art classes. It's Mr. K. I'm the art teacher, and I would love to be there in the classroom with you, but we can't quite do that right now. So I've set up shop here in my garage, as you can see behind me, and we're going to do some video lessons over the next few weeks where I'm going to show you some stuff. Now, I'm going to go way too fast, so don't worry. You're supposed to. It's totally okay to go ahead and pause the video at any time that you need to, and do whatever we're working on and then when you're ready go ahead and unpause it so today what we're gonna work on is we're gonna look at the face we're gonna draw pictures of people and we're gonna see what kind of proportions will help you make a more realistic looking face all right so let's go ahead and get started first thing you're gonna need is obviously a nice piece of paper preferably without any lines on it. If you don't have any plain white paper, that's okay. You can use lined paper, it'll still work. What we wanna do is we want the paper going tall ways, or vertical if you will. This is called portrait because we're gonna draw a portrait of a person. We're just gonna draw their face and some of their shoulders. So what we wanna do, I'm gonna tr draw a little harder so you can see it on the video, but you want to hold your pencil kind of lightly. Now, the best way to draw lightly is to hold way far back. You're used to, your whole life, you've been told to hold the pencil like this and push so you can see it. Well, we don't really want to see this part. We're going to build it up and make a drawing with layers, and we want to be able to erase some stuff. So it's okay to hold way back here. I, like I said, I'm going to draw a little bit hard so you can see it on the video, though. We're going to start by just making a nice big oval. We don't want it all the way at the top. We don't want a tiny little one in the middle. We want a nice big face that's going to take up a good chunk of this paper so we have something to work with. So don't be afraid of actually drawing on it. So let's see. I'm just going to start at the top. What I'm going to do, you can just watch first. I'm just going to make a few lines. We don't want to make a circle. We want to make an oval. If I do it lightly enough, you can build it up and make sure that it works. Now, I've got a line way out here. I don't want that line. I can erase that. These down here, they don't work for me. I get rid of this inside one, and that way I have something I can work with. I may even make it a little wider. I can edit it a little bit and fix it up. Maybe make it a little shorter at the top. So I can get rid of some of that stuff. Now if you're doing it really, really hard and pushing hard on it, that's going to make it more difficult. So don't be afraid to test it out. Maybe just on the back of your paper, just practice making a big circle or a big oval to see how it works and get that feel for drawing lightly. You draw it super dark and you can see all these kind of extra planning lines that we're going to make. That's okay because we can we can use those in our drawing too. So let me darken this up a little bit for you so you can see it better. See when I try to draw it dark and slowly it doesn't come out nearly as nicely as light and kind of just loosening up a little bit. I can still erase that. All right, so now we just have our oval. If you want to go ahead and pause here and make your oval because you've just been watching, that's totally fine. Go ahead and do that now, and when you're ready, you can come back. All right, I'm going to make the neck. Now, we don't want to draw a teeny tiny little neck here. It'll look like a, like a big oval lollipop or something. What we want to do is your neck kind of just comes down from here. So if we're coming down this face and then we just bring it out from the side. Feels like it's going to be too wide, but it's really not. If you take a look in the mirror and see, you'll understand that that's going to work out pretty well. Okay, now you've got a neck coming down. I'll make this a little darker here so you can see it better on the video. It doesn't have to go too far down, just a little bit. And we'll give this like a, a collar of some sort of t-shirt. Maybe if you want to make it a, a V, you could. Or just kind of a big lazy U. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. That's okay. So just make that little line right across there. 
and we'll start our shoulders a little bit above that. Just a little bit. And just, just bring a nice little line over. It doesn't have to be too... We don't want to stop it here because your shoulders, you actually have what would be enough room for one head. That's how wide your shoulder should be on the side. So we'll just, we're not going to see that whole thing. We'll just give a little line over towards the edge and that should do the trick. All right, now we're going to make some guidelines to show where parts of the face are going to go. So we're going to make some very light lines. Now again, I'm going to draw really dark so you can actually see it on your screen there. But you should be doing stuff very, very lightly. Now first off, we're going to have a line right straight down the middle, as, as straight a line as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect. You do not need a ruler for this. I'm just going to make this line. Again, I'm, you don't have to go over it twice. I'm doing that just so that we can see it. Now it looks like a, looks like a football or a coffee bean or something, but it's going to look like a person. Don't worry. Looks a little funny right now. All right, so now we need to make a line to show where are the eyes gonna go, how far, how far up and down the head, in between the chin and the top of your head. So I'll tell you what, let's figure, first, take a guess. Do you think it's gonna be closer to the top or closer to the bottom? Let's see if you're right. Take your fingers like this. Now, don't poke yourself in the eye, please be careful. Take your fingers, put your, your pointer finger right between your eyes, I almost poked myself in the eye doing this. Put your finger right between your eyes and put your other one right by where your chin is. Now, hold your fingers in that position, just like that, and put your thumb in between your eyes. And guess what? The distance between the top of your head and your eyes is the same as between your eyes and your chin. Your eyes are actually halfway right smack in the middle of your face. That sounds like it should be wrong. It's not. Trust so I have a rule I always talk about in my classrooms. Trust the process. Some of this stuff's gonna feel weird, seem wrong. Trust me on some of this, okay? Stick with me on this part. Okay, so we need to make our line halfway. Let's see here, is this? We can do the same type of thing just to measure this. That far, and that far wasn't quite big enough. I'll go a little bit bigger. That's about right, right about there. So I'm just gonna take a guess. Now again, a nice light line. I'm gonna make it darker so you can see it better, but you should just make yours a little light. And it's okay if it goes off the edge like this. Make a great big T right through it. We don't need it sticking way out. You'll just have to erase it a whole bunch later, but you'll see why this part's kind of important in a moment. All right, now we gotta see where does the bottom of your nose go between your eyes and the bottom of your chin. So let's see here, let's take our measuring tool again and we're gonna stick our pointer finger right between the eyes and do this along with me right now and hold it right under your nose. We'll measure and see, is this distance the same as this distance? Pretty much. Now everybody's a little bit different, especially the eyes, the nose, mouth, everything. Everybody looks a little bit different, obviously. So you, yours might be a little lower, might be a little higher doesn't but for most people it's about halfway so let's go ahead and draw in our guideline halfway all right so let's see here uh, let's test it out measure it that's about halfway right there so that's where my nose is gonna go it's okay to draw I know your nose doesn't go all the way across your face but we are gonna need this information for later so don't be afraid and again I'm gonna go over it darker so you can see it on the video better but you should just go over it once really really lightly so go ahead figure out where your nose is gonna go all right here we go again now we got to figure out where does the mouth go so you know what to do so take your fingers like this put your one finger right under your nose Put your other one right where the middle of your mouth is there. And let's see, what do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be halfway? Is it going to be more? Going to be less? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. It's not halfway. It's a little above. It's about a third. So let's try it on our paper now. All right. So let's see here. That's going to be, that looks about right. That's not quite all the way down. Again, we can go take that line all the way out. 
I'm going to do it darker. You don't need to do it this darkly. And that's okay. Now we got to see where do the eyes go? Where does the where does the nose go? How wide do some of these things need to be? We still need to kind of have a few guidelines. All right, so so far, this doesn't really look like much of a person. You can kind of tell it's starting to look like a person, but we're going to build up these layers. Now we got to see, what about the eyes? We know how high they go, but how, how where do they start? How big should they be? Where's, where should the inside corner of the eye be? So let's take a look here. We're going to use our measuring tool again. Please don't poke yourself in the eye. Please be careful. So you got to kind of close one eye, or both, and stick your your pointer finger on the inside of your eye. We're going to measure it here. And on the outside corner of your eye. Now hold that position. Now put it right in between on the two inside corners of your eye. Guess what? The width of one eye is basically how far apart they should be. If you could draw one eye right in the middle right there, that would be it. We're not going to draw the eye in the middle. This isn't that kind of picture. We're not, draw we're not drawing the three-eyed person here. But that's how wide apart they would be. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's see if we made about that far apart on this side. And test it out, see what looks right. You can also use your pencil as a measuring tool. I'm going to put the tip right on that line, and I'm going to put my fingers right there. And then I'm going to put my fingers right where that line is. And it's going to be right about there. And I'll make something. I could use my fingers to measure it with. I can use my pencil. So again, right about there. You are going to have some space on the side of your head, too. That's perfectly fine. So I'm, I'm going to make these kind of dark lines here. You don't have to do that. They're not going to be that dark for you. Now, your eyes, they're not going to be circles. Nobody has circles for eyes. Well, I'm sure there's somebody out there, but we have kind of almost like an almond shape. Some people's are a little wider. Some people's are a little skinnier and not as big and round as you would think. But this, maybe a little bit, a little, a little more on the bottom. Everybody's eyes look a little bit different. Got this little, if you want to try that right here, where your tear ducts are, kind of dips in a little bit. Bring this down. I'm not going to worry about the pupil. That's your, the colorful part of your eye there. Ugh. The iris is the colorful part. The pupil is the black dot in the middle. I'm going to try to do the same thing on this side. Make it as symmetrical as possible. Symmetries, when things kind of, you know, look the same on each side, like a, like a mirror image of each other. Put that little... If you want to do that, you can. If you don't want to, that's okay. Now, nobody's eyes are exactly the same, so if they don't look... This looks a little bit different than that. That's okay. Don't worry about it. No big deal. Now your nose. For this, it's gonna first look like we got a weird smiley face. We don't need to draw like a big upside down seven. That's kind of the the symbol that you're probably used to drawing when we draw a nose. We're gonna do. We're looking at our nose straight on. We're not looking at it from the side. So what we're gonna do is right here on this bottom line, we're gonna make just. It's gonna almost look like a little smiley face. Right now it looks like a happy alien, but but we're getting there, don't worry. Now it doesn't have to be too wide. The sides of your nose, if you take a look in the mirror or line up your pencil along your nose, the sides of your nose for most people are about where the inside corner of your eye is. So going straight down from there, I can just make, looks like a couple of little parentheses here. They don't have to be super big. Play around with it, see what looks best. And you can add just a little nostril here. It gives the idea of a nose. We don't have to draw the whole thing. We can shade this in a little bit later to make it look like there's an, a, you know, a side to your nose and that it's not just a weird smiley face down here. Your mouth. Now, 
right in the middle of your eyes, that's where the sides of your mouth are gonna line up. So if I'm making a super, super light line down here, you could even just do what we call an excuse me line where you just, you don't even have to draw it. I'll just make a little line right here. You know, I'm gonna go in a little further than that. I think I went a little too far out on that one. That's okay. So I'll just make a little, little, a little dot there. And that's where the line from, now it's not gonna be a straight line across. This isn't a cartoon. So I'm gonna give it that little tiny dip from the, the bottom part of your lip, not a big one, like a very wide V. And make this line come over from there. That's just the inside part of your lip. Doesn't need to be much there. We can darken that in a little bit. And right above your lip, you've got that tiny little, that little part that's in the middle of your lip. And we can bring this over from that. The bottom lip, we could go all the way over. You could also just kind of give the idea of a lip. You don't even have to do the whole thing. Maybe give it a few little lines there. Now our person's looking more like a person, but is still looking kind of like an alien because of all these lines, especially these blank eyes. We gotta do something with these eyes now. So I can start getting rid of some of my guidelines. I don't wanna get rid of all of them yet. There's some other things we need to do. Now I know I said it before, and don't forget, if I'm going too fast, which I know I am and I should be, please pause the video anytime you need to to do some work, okay? I can get rid of this line down the middle. I don't really need that anymore. Get rid of this in here. I'm gonna leave it out here because we're gonna need that for our ears in a moment. See, I drew kind of hard, so you can probably still even see that line there on the, even on the video, you might be able to see it. I'm gonna get rid of this line in the middle of my eye. Now, let's talk about your iris and your pupil, the inside part of your eye. So when it comes to the colorful part of your eye, we tend to just draw a great big circle with a dot in the middle of it. You're actually right. I mean, this part, the colorful part of the eye is a circle, but do we see the whole thing all the time? So take a look at yourself in the mirror or, or look at, at my eyes right now. The top part of that circle is covered by my eyelid. The bottom part's even touching the bottom of my eye. Now, you could see the top of it if you do this. It looks really weird if you walk around like this all day, right? So we're gonna cover up part of that circle. Let's see how to do that. Okay, so remember how we made that oval where we just made some very light lines? We're gonna do the same thing here. Now we're gonna make just a circle that touches the bottom and goes up above this. Hey, you just said that there's not gonna be a full circle on this, Mr. K. Correct. Once again, we're going to erase part of this circle, so it might be a little bit big. Make it a little smaller. There we go. I like that better. Now I can erase this part that's sticking out on the top. I can erase some of these little lines here. I might even adjust my eye a little bit more even. I'm going to do the same thing over here, try to make them about the same size. Erase this along the top. It's a little too big. So, just like that. If you haven't already, go ahead and try that with yours. And then we'll put our pupil in the middle. I can just draw, this is actually just a circle. Now it looks a little funny like this with these just, you know, two circles here. We're gonna color that in later. If you wanna color it in with your pencil right now, you can. If you wanna do this with colored pencil later, you could totally do that. If you wanna color it in with some marker, 
however you want to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it with my pencil right now. Make a nice dark. And if you make a little, a little circle here, just a little one on each one on the same corner, like this is on the top left corner here, I'm going to make one right here, same circle. That way it looks like there's a highlight coming down and we can color lightly because this is a different color. Now, if you want to do this with a colored pencil later, you can totally do that. This way, we give the, it'll look like there is, if you go out from the middle, that's kind of what happens here. This colorful part of your eye is actually a muscle that keeps light out of the inside if there's too much or lets in more light. It gets bigger, it's called, what we call dilating when it's really dark and lets more light in and it contracts and gets smaller. And this black dot here is actually a hole so that light can get into your optic nerve and you can actually see something. If it didn't have a hole, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Now that hole is covered up by a lens, which you don't want to mess with. But that's what's happening here, and that's why it looks this way. So, now we've got this. We need some ears for our person. So, let's see here. Where should we put our ears? All right, so ears. They're going to line up with, and it's hard to do this because if I tilt forward or back, they, you know, my ears look like they're coming from under my nose. But I'm trying to be as straight on as I can. You'll see that the top of your ear is going to come around right around your eye level, maybe a little bit above. So we could start that a little bit above the eye and the bottom of your ear is going to be right around the bottom of your nose, maybe a little bit more than that. That sounds like it's going to be too big, but if we don't make it that big, it's actually going to look really super tiny. So let's see here. We're going to make our ear around a little bit above. It doesn't have to stick out too far and it's going to come down right around here maybe a little bit more even oops see if you the lighter you draw the easier it is to fix anything up and everybody's ears are a little bit different some go a little further down and we can start getting rid of some of these guidelines now we don't really need them you know, I've got this big dark line on the corner of my eye here. Get rid of that. Fix. Oops, I gotta do my ear over here first. And it's gonna come down a little, a little below here. Now it's looking a little much. We're gonna need some hair for this person. Now, the one thing people always want to do with drawing hair is they want to make all the hair come right out the top of the head and they leave this uncovered. So, I'm not going to bother switching the camera around to show me because, well, I look like this guy. So, on your hair, what you're going to do is you're going to, after I get rid of some of these guidelines, you're going to bring the hair down onto the forehead. I'm going to give this person some hair here. Don't be afraid to bring it down. Sometimes your hair is going to come all the way down here. Oh, we can't forget eyebrows. I always forget eyebrows for some reason when I'm doing this. So, don't be afraid to let the hair come down a little further. And it's going to stick up off the top of your head, too. It's not, even if you have a really, you know, kind of, you know, pasted down hairstyle that's really kind of flat, it's not going to be right there it's still going to stick up a bit. So it's okay to have the hair coming up. And it's going to stick out from your head a little bit. And it's going to come in here a little bit. So I'm kind of going lightly on this right now. It's going to kind of go either, it could go back behind your ear it could come over the top of your ear and you could erase part of that however you want to do it. Uh, I'm going to give this person some long hair so we could talk about how to draw that. If you don't want to, you can just kind of end it here. We can get rid of this line because we don't need to see the top of the skull. 
That's why you want to draw these things nice and lightly, because you're going to get rid of parts of it. Go all the way around there and get rid of that skull line. And like I said, I'm going to give this person some, some long hair that's going to cover the ear. And it doesn't just come here. You've probably, depends on your hairstyle, of course, you've probably got some hair back behind next to your neck. So don't be afraid. If you're doing long hair for this, you could have it go behind the shoulder. I have some coming down here. You're also going to color in back here because it's going to, your neck is in front of it. It's going to go all the way around behind probably, unless you want to give yourself a, you know, a pigtail or a ponytail or something like that. But if you're putting hair, so like this part of the hair is going to cover this ear. Don't be afraid to erase parts of your drawing. It's okay. And over here, it's going to go behind the ear. It's kind of tucked behind the ear back here. Get rid of that line. So we can go ahead and bring that down. You could even have it coming over the top of the shoulder here, kind of wrapping around. Erase part of that shoulder. Now, do you have to make your drawing look exactly like that? No, of course not. You could do it any way you want. You can take these ideas and make them your own. And give it a little line right here. We've got this little, I wish I knew what that part of the ear was called. I have no idea what it is. I should look that up before I make the video, you know? Give you something to do at home. You can look that up on Google later. What is that little, that little part of the ear right there called? So now you can start darkening things in, getting rid of some stuff that you don't need. Like I said, I made some of these things a little darker than needed to be, so you could see it on the video. Get rid of part of that line there. Get rid of all of our guidelines. These guidelines are kind of like the lines on a paper when you're writing. Gives you some place to go, keeps it organized. And we can Make a few lines like this. Oh yeah, I forgot my eyebrows again. Just a little bit up here. Now if you just make your lines kind of going out like this, depends on how wide you want to make them. A little bit past the eyebrow or the eye. Start inside here a little bit. Just make a bunch of little lines kind of curving around, going away. There we go. Now it looks like a person and not an alien, right? and darken these things in and shade them in if you'd like, however you want to. You could leave it with just lines like this. You could color in all that hair behind, however you want to go about doing it. And that is one really good way to make a drawing of a person. Let's get rid of these little lines here. Get rid of all my dark guide, two dark guidelines. Go back in, make some parts darker and you have a drawing of a person. All right, so that's it for this lesson today. Hope that was helpful, hope you enjoyed it. And now we have an idea of those facial proportions. Where, do every, where does everything go? Um, where should everything line up? And using that, that idea of holding a little further back and drawing lightly is gonna help you a lot. I'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.